I'm about to do something pretty silly. And uh, this big rock, I'm gonna bring it home because. <laughs> That's a piece of Thompsonite. Oh, that is a beautiful zeolite. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back for another video. I'm out here on this snowy day doing some beach combing up on the North Shore of Minnesota on big old Lake Superior. And I'm really excited because we just found some really cool Thompsonite in this beach. I haven't seen anybody else's footprints, so it's totally unpicked. And we're gonna be going to another beach after this one. So make sure you stick around. So the waves are going pretty good today, so I don't have my waders on. So hopefully we can find some good stuff along here. But I do have Scoopy, so he's gonna help me get, oh my gosh, snowflake in the eye. <laughs> but I do have Scoopy with today. So if we do see anything in the water, we can grab it. Come on, buddy. Jasper here. Check this out. Oh yeah. Red elitic jasper. Oh yeah. So I found a few pieces of beach worn agate. South Sydney. But right here is a nice chunk of porphyry. Just toss this in my pocket. Check this out. Alright, Scooby. Oh, that is so pretty. That is really nice. I'm gonna put that in the bag. <laughs> Bring that one home, that's really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful inclusions. Got a few more chunks of uh, beach corn agates. This really pretty piece of Kill Sydney. But right down there, I got this, it looks like basalt with a possible agate in there, like a nodule. Oh yeah, a nice little nodule. That's pretty. Got ourselves another piece of Kel Sydney here, and then right down here is very beach-worn agate. Very, very beach-worn agate. <laughs> nice. All right, so I think I've spotted some Jasper here. I've done this about 10 times and I ended up not being anything. But we'll see if this one is anything. Oh, yes. That is hard to tell because of the glare. That's a really beach-worn Mary Ellen Jasper. It's got swirls and patterns in there. Oh, that is pretty. I know it's kind of hard to tell. It just looks like a nothing rock, but take my word for it. Mary Ellen Jasper. It's a really old fossil. So cool. So we scoured that beach pretty good, but because the wave activity was a little bit bigger, it's harder to find stuff because I went to scoop a lot of stuff and the waves would just take it away from me. So we're going to head to another beach and see if we can find one with a little less wave activity. Hopefully find some more good stuff. Let's go. So as we're heading to the next spot, I wanted to just quickly talk about, you know, beach rock hounding and why I haven't been doing it as much on our channel. Uh, so through the summer months, there's a lot of people that come up north to the North Shore at all the beaches to get their rock hunting in with the nice warm weather. And when that happens, I head to the rivers and the creeks and the, into the woods. Uh, because most of the beaches that I go to, whenever I've tried, I get skunked because they're overpicked. But that's fine because people are enjoying their rock hounding adventures and everybody's finding their own goodies. So, But now that it's winter and a lot of people don't enjoy winter and being out and freezing like I do, um, I'll be heading back to a lot more beaches throughout the winter months. So if you're new to my channel, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button so you guys can join us on all of our winter rock hunting adventures. I love it up here and it's snowing today and I love winter so this is, this is an absolute blast for me. I hope you guys are enjoying it but let's head to the next spot.
So we've made it to the second spot and we had to drive about 50 miles south of the first spot and I believe the snow was moving north. So as you can see, the sun is starting to peak out. So hopefully we can find some good stuff here and this is actually a spot I haven't even shown in any video yet. So this will be a first for you guys to see this. And as you can see, I'm not the first one here today, but we'll check it out. Looks like half the beach is uh, snowy, half is thawed, but yeah. Let's see what we can find. We got our first find right here. It's like a little nodule. <laughs> That's funny looking. <laughs> All right, so haven't found a whole lot, but I'm about to do something pretty silly. And uh, this big rock, I'm gonna bring it home because <laughs> right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's a Lake Superior agate geode in host rock. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this whole thing home. Get out of here. <laughs> Let me get some water on that, at least for the bands. Oh my gosh. Is there more? I don't see any more on there. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. oh, it's going to be a fun time carrying that out. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess I'll keep looking around a little bit and then we'll carry that home. All right, so I'm not finding anything else, <laughs> which is fine because I'm pretty pumped about that big agate geo that I just found. So I'm going to haul that back to the car and yeah, it's probably going to take a little while. So I'm kind of cutting it a bit short out here, but I want to safely get that thing out of here. So let's grab it. I've made it from that tree here. You're worth it. Look at the size of that. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Oh, this is so big. All right, we'll get her, we'll get her. Oh boy, we're halfway. I've been put it on my shoulder, so it's not so bad, but it's that dead weight. It's totally worth it, it just sucks right now. All right, next time you see me, We'll be at the car. All right, so we got it back. We got it in the car and we're gonna get back to the house and show you everything we found today, including that awesome Aga Geode. It's so cool. But we made it back home and I got everything down here, including that really big host truck with the agate in there. And I put it on the scale and I was thinking it was gonna be about 80 pounds. And it was a grand total of 106.8 pounds of host rock with that geode agate in it. And <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself because over the summer I actually found 120 some pound stromatolite fossil that I brought home too. So this is my second 100 plus pound rock that I brought home. So yeah, anyways, let's take a peek at everything we found. So here's some of the smaller stuff we got. Really nice red oolitic jasper. That'll be a fun one to work. This porphyry that I think is really pretty and it's almost like the uh, feldspar crystals in there are a bit faded. So this will be a really good one to cut and see what's going on inside. Love this agate nodule and the basalt. Some other little, not the most high quality agates. This nice Thompsonite, I think that'll be a fun one to maybe, we'll try to do a little polish on that down the road. And then I thought this was stromatolite. I don't know, maybe had a little bit of a brain freeze or what, but I don't think this is a stromatolite at all. This is just a junk rock. But uh, anyway, let's look at the, uh, the really big host rock. So here it is, 106 pounds. I cannot believe I brought this whole thing home just for this. As far as agate size goes, that's pretty good. Um, I looked this whole thing over, I think back here, it's right there. There's a little nodule stuck in there. So we're gonna do something really fun with this in the future. So I actually went out to the store this morning and I bought some tools. I bought a chisel and a chisel hammer. Went over to Harbor Freight, picked these up for really cheap, and we are gonna go to town and break this thing apart, and hopefully we find some more agates along the way. But I'm gonna work this thing down to try to chisel this agate out of here, or I'm not completely sure yet, I might try to, as it gets down further, cut out a piece of it 
for a display piece so that it is still naturally in the host. I'm just not sure yet. I don't know if I want to have a display piece with the host to keep it more natural or if I want to try to chisel this whole thing out. This is so cool. Getting to find a geode agate of this size still in the host rock. I know some of you are probably going to think not worth it to bring this whole thing home just for that, but I think it's really cool. Well, that's everything I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, let me know if we should chisel it out, make a display piece, or if you have any other ideas, let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up. I had to carry that 100 plus pound stone very far away to get it home here. It was really fun. We'll see you next time. Bye.